So, hold on. Outside this window, we can see, like... Hold on. We can see, like, there's 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 stuff out there. Can we get out there? <laughs> okay. What's up, dudes? How's it going today? Zach Blake here, and today we're doing something very, very awesome, very fun, um, and very unique. What we're gonna try to do is go into three very scary horror games, and we're gonna try to take the scare out of it. Join me on this journey as we go and we try to play Eyes, the horror game. You guys have been asking me to play that. We're gonna be playing Escape the Ayuoki, which is like the Michael Jackson horror game everybody's been talking about, and um, Nun Massacre, which is supposed to be one of the scariest games out there. <laughs> And we're gonna try to make it funny. We've been doing this a lot by taking uh, the scare out of games. I mean, we did it with Granny, we did it with None, we did it with Hello Neighbor to the point where like, I don't even feel scared of like all those games. So hopefully we can use our methods, head into these games and de-scarify them. All right, now that you know the premise, we're gonna start with Eyes, then we're gonna move on to Escape the Awoki. We're just gonna call it Michael Jackson Horror Game. And then None Massacre. I'm actually scared for None Massacre because I've seen people freak out at it, but we're gonna start down the line with eyes. You guys have also been asking me to play this, and um, I actually played this a long time ago on my channel. I was 15 years old when I played this game first, and now we're headed back in. Uh, what is it? Six years later. Jeez, this is a long time. So we just started up the game. Um, I haven't really played this. I know it was on PC before, but now it's on mobile, but I'm playing it on an emulator. So they updated the game, obviously. So I don't know what to expect, but we have to go in with kind of the mentality of I'm not gonna be scared. Usually when you wanna de-scarify a game, um, you try to approach the danger head on. All right, so we just got into the game. We're in a magnificent hotel room, room, house, cottage. I don't know where we are, but obviously we're looking for bags of money. That's how it usually is. Um, and yeah, so I mean, look at that. We could just sit by the fire. Why are we even looking for money? I mean, we're in a giant room anyway. I mean, we're good. So in this game, obviously there's a giant head chasing you. Um, it, all the, the only sound it makes is like, oh, whoa. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got ourselves an eye. I think this allows us to see what it's seeing. Oh, oh, look at this. We have a very dirty kitchen. All right, so um, let's go listen to the radio. How do I turn this thing on? Is it, is it broken? Is it connect? Is there, is there a wire? Is it powered on? Is it battery powered? Maybe if we uh, tune it real quick, you just gotta take the tuning button. I don't, I don't think that's normal. A parcel, it has never been sent. Oh, all right. So I'm now I'm delivering <laughs> delivering packages while I'm looking for money while I'm running from a giant floating head. So it says run. Hold on. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey! Why is it so slow? Did I pick like the slow version? Hold on. What? Did I outrun it already? Yeah, it's gone. So yeah, if you're ever trying to de-scarify games, the number one thing you that you have to do, pretty much, is kind of just face it head on. You can't let the thing make you run. You gotta run towards it. All right, well, I mean, I'm not gonna run towards it because I'm gonna get hurt, but I guess you could run away from it and kind of stare at it a little bit. I mean, look, she has to walk up the stairs like me. Hey, hold on, give me a head start. <laughs> hey, oh wait, you can't come over here. <laughs> Wait, so that was normal. That's how slow it is on normal. What's it on newbie? All right, so I guess um, We should go in and try. Okay, so on newbie it only makes you find six money bags. That's pretty easy Okay um, Also, is the head slower because I mean at normal speed we can just walk away from it. Hold on. Where is she right now? All right, let's see if we can find no, there's nothing in here. Steven, have you been going through my personal belongings? Oh, actually, wait, there's stuff over here. Boop, boop. Nope, nope. She's so slow. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She can barely move. If you, if you kind of take, uh, take kind of a stand back stance about it, like you can kind of just give her a voice and it kind of looks like she's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we saw it in newbie, I want to see the most extreme mode. I mean, we got to be scared here. All right. So now we have the nightmare mode. Let's see what nightmare mode has in store. All right. So nightmare mode has initiated. We're headed out on our adventure to see what we can do. It's going to be probably not as scary. I mean, we've already pretty much de-scarified this game. Um, you kind of just got to run at them, right? I mean, if, you, if you're not scared of the thing, then how is it going to scare you? Yeah, okay. So, I think it just goes a little bit faster. I feel like we've done it. It's been done. We've de-scarified the game. All right. So, we just started up Escape the Awoki, and this one warns us about the disturbing scenes, loud screams, and the fact that we might get scared. So, now we're going to embark on our journey into this game and see... If, okay, we gotta play this, I, I think, the way it normally should be played first, and then see how we can kind of adapt to it. Alright, so we just started up the game, and it actually, it looks very familiar. Hold on, that Slenderman picture, hold on, this looks really familiar. Hold on, so I open it with E. Guys! We've played this game before. Okay, so I'm in the mansion game that we played a while back. Okay, look at this, right? This is the mansion game, and looking down this hallway, there's just generic AI that doesn't even look for you. No, well, let's go back into the other game. We have a long hallway. The uh, It comes to a T, and it's kind of the same thing. I don't know who's copying who here, but I'm kind of expecting everything already. All right, so we have a guy hanging upside down. Um, hold on. Wait, what? What? I'm so confused. I'm so turned around. Hold on. I, I just spun 360 and I kind of like juked myself out. So we have blood coming out of the eyes in the picture. We have a guy hanging upside down. And we have more hallway this way. What do we got? What? Where? What? Where am I? I'm, what am I doing? Am I just teleporting? What? what? So you know what? This game is not even that completely scary. It's kind of just run away from him, right? Um, you could hear him going. <laughs> okay, so you kind of just, oh, oh. You gotta keep running at the boss until you expect to get hurt, right? Now he's yelling in my ear. I can't even hear myself. You have to basically run at the boss. Make sure that you know that the danger is just gonna happen anyway. But seriously, this mansion, we've seen it in so many mobile games. So, I mean, I don't know if this is just a really well-made PC version or if the mobile games tried to copy this. But uh, I'm just gonna try to run and see if I can get out of there as fast as possible. No, he's just standing there. Oh, wait, I can avoid- Oh, I broke my legs! So, hold on. Outside this window, we can see, like- Hold on. We can see, like, there's- there's- there's stuff out there. Can we get out there? <laughs> okay! That got me that time! Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's because I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay, so I just realized... I, I read the instructions. You're supposed to turn off your flashlight if you want him to not get you. I was like, why is he just getting me 100% of the time? Alright, so without the flashlight on, it's like 10 times as scary. Uh, but we're walking through. We're making progress. I don't... I don't think he's here. Oh, he's here. We're gonna get caught right now, huh? He's right there. All right. So I feel like uh, we've de-scarified that game as much as we can. And now it's time for Nun Massacre, which I'm really not excited for. I know that this one is very scary. Um, it says, for best results, play alone in the dark. Play as if your life is actually at stake. Play no more than once per day. Be careful in the vents. Okay, all right, so here we are. We are a VHS uh, person in the bathtub. Are we just, are we a camera? Are we a baby? Am I a baby? Something's gonna jump scare me and I know it. I know something's trying to come for me and I'm not gonna get scared. To de-scarify it, you gotta expect it. Hold on, what's going on? Hey, anybody out there? I'm just a baby in the bathtub. Um, what do I do? Get out? Oh. Yes, I would love to get out. All right. Okay, well, I'm not a baby. I would be a very tall baby. Um, what is this? Letter. D. 
Dear Miss McDonald, I hope, oh, am I a miss? Okay. I will, this is whoever's writing this letter. So I hope this letter finds you well. Your child is sick. Oh, well, I didn't get to read. Hold on, I don't, what's going on? All right, well, we have the letter still. Um, What are we, jumping over this closed road thing? Okay, well, um, it's very blurry. You can't really see much, but um, there's just a giant cliff. All right. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking once more down this mountain. Don't know what we're doing, but it's raining. I'm probably soaked. I mean, my shoes, I can't see my feet. Where are my feet? My uh, socks have water in them, apparently. Oh my gosh. There's a dude over there. I can see it. It's just... Yep, that's a dude. That's a dude right there. Look. Look. Yeah, up, up, and the, zoo, the dude's gone. Dude's gone. He just... He disappeared into the ground. Oh, I could zoom. I forgot with right click. So, um, is there a dude over there? Is this where we were before? Oh, I think that was. So now we've kind of reached higher in the mountain. Um, okay. Okay, so I think we finally reached the school. Very top of a mountain. I like it. It has a nice view. So do we just walk in? Oh, okay. I hope this letter finds you well. Your child is sick and needs your immediate attention. We would normally handle this matter, but the situation is urgent as we do not have a telephone service. Uh, you will need to appear in person uh, in the peace of Christ, Mother Ap Apollon Apollonia? 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 Okay, wait, wait. Did I find it? Is this what I was supposed to... Is this what I was supposed to do? There we go. Took me a while, but I found it. All right, so we've entered the school. We are back on VHS. Let's turn it back to the other one. Um, whoa. This is weird. You see the walls, like, moving? Whoa. Hey, does this school have power? Because, um, I think you guys need some power. Oh. All right, sick. Got a lighter. Um, nice. That's all I really need. Oh, television? Just a TV. All right, um, what can we find? <laughs> this is not very scary. I don't see anything going on here. Obviously, I really haven't started the game first. <laughs> I wasn't scared. I wasn't. I, how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? I'm sorry. I don't know. What do I do? I think I'm just, I'm doomed, right? I'm, and the game closes. Oh, so I found a diary entry. Dear diary, mommy dropped me off at new at my new school. I'm going to miss my old friends. I brought Bongo with me, though. We have a teacher named Sister Yufe, Yufemia. She has a she has an assistant sister. It's so weird because the thing's moving a bunch because of the VHS thing. She has an assistant named Sister Odelia. They're teaching all about the saints and wonderful lives they've lived. Today, uh, we learned about Saint Lucy. Her eyes were put on a plate. What? And she became a martyr. That's a weird word. Sister Euphema said that her love for God saved her from the evil Romans that tried to hurt her. Sister Rose said that Mother Apollonia, Apollo, Apollonia is going to take care of us. Okay. Wait a minute. My uh, thing's getting a little bit fuzzy. That's not good. Hold on. I'm not scared. We're going to de-scarify this. De-scarify it. I'm expecting her to come. You know what? Where is she? I will find her. You know what? Wooden plank. I don't, I don't need ya. I mean, I do need ya. I really, I kind of do. Okay. So now we have the wooden plank. Now, now we go on. Where is she? Where is she? I want to find her. I will run into the mist. Where is she? Let me de scarify this game. To find me. Where are you? Deep down right now, I'm scared. Ah, okay. The thing is, is that we've never really seen her before. We haven't been chased by her. We're not accustomed to the sound. And I know it's going to be scary the first time we see her, but let's do this. Let's de-scarify this. Where is she? Come and find me. Where is she? There she is. Okay. All right. So, um, I feel kind of a little bit okay about it now. The fact that we've actually faced her head on is kind of one of the things to de-scarifying a game. It's kind of just finding her, um, making sure that, you know, the game knows that you're boss. Why would I want to rock? Oh, maybe for this? 
All right, let's get inside here. Uh, we have our rock still. TV. Oh, boy, what is this? A radar. Um, does it tell me anything? Okay, so we found the vents that supposedly uh, we were supposed to be worried about. Uh, I don't know what to do. Don't even know where I'm going, but in my own mind, I'm kind of not scared anymore. All right, so I found a gate. You won't keep me locked behind here for much longer. I will find a way out. Um, I, why would I? I walked into the school to find my kid, right? Like, at this point, am I trying to find a way to escape? Or am I trying to find my kid? Like, does this character know that there's a crazy nun here? All right, so. Here she comes. I don't know if she's down there or she's in the vents, but I think I'm safe if I'm in the vents, right? Right? That's what I would think. Oh, there she is. Okay, you know what? Not that scary, not that scary. She's just walking in a vent behind us. Look, her head is going through it. I literally have to take my headphones out because it's so loud. But uh, here we go. Wait, did she just stop? Why? <laughs> she just turned around. Hold on, I'm right here. You missed me. Hold on, come back here, nun. Nun, I'm right here. Where did she go? So, I mean, I feel like I'm de-scarified a little bit. She's, her head is going through the things. Oh man, and she's kind of slow. Wait, where did she go? She just gave up. All right, so we're finally getting our fuzzy thing again so we can find her. She's probably up here. We're just gonna run straight at her once more. Allow her to, what is it, stab us? Is that, is that what she wants to do? Wait, where, I thought I was getting fuzzy. Hold on, where is she? I won't, oh, come back here. Oh, there she is. Hey, I'm on the other side. Come get over here. <laughs> come here. Oh, wait, you could walk, you could walk through. All right. <laughs> oh man. I thought she was just gonna stare at us. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, we tried to de-scarify these games as much as we could. And I feel like for the most part, we pretty much got there. I uh, like the fact that you can kind of take the power away from the horror games is um, is pretty cool because I remember as a kid I would play horror games and it would be like so like scary to me that I couldn't even breathe or play these games. And I feel like I really want to explore and hear the story to all these things. So you kind of got to make the game a little less scary in your own mind. Nevertheless, these games were insanely cool. And the scariness factor, sometimes you want that. Sometimes you want to feel the scare. So um, it's kind of cool to be able to kind of, you know, take a lever and you, you know, adjust the scare to how you want it. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, click that notification bell to become part of the notification squad. And as always, peace out, my dudes.